Hey, is that? Yeah, that's the three-day PAX Pass ticket I won. Oh, far out, man. You're so lucky. Wait, do you have to, like, draw a picture of League or something about it? Yeah. Can I see it? Sure. That's it. That's the picture. You just put your face on Draven's body. That's disgusting. You want a three-day PAX Pass for that. Well, yeah. Far out, man. I quit. Well, you quit. Wait, Mike, we're on the video! Ziggurat is an FPS dungeon crawler with both an old school feel and philosophy. There are some rogue light elements such as perks and procedurally generated areas, but the focus of the game and its difficulty stems from your skill in combat. You have to dodge volleys of enemy fire with twitch reflexes and have the spatial awareness to detect threats from all angles. Throw in a frenetic and propelling pace and you get a neat package. Ziggurat is a treat for gaming purists and fans of classic shooters like Heretic. Journey to a mysterious island, for the Legend of Grimrock has returned and defeated the curse of the sequel. Legend of Grimrock 2 is bigger and better than its predecessor, but retains the same premise, an old school grid based RPG with a modern aesthetic that favours the thinking player. There are puzzles that will test the most adept of minds and so many secrets that a second playthrough wouldn't uncover them all. Even the combat is an art of the mind revolving around tact and fast decisions. Grimrock is also a dungeon crawler with vast caverns to explore and many fierce enemies to encounter. This is a proven series that is only improved upon by this sequel. Serious. Oh, horse. Oh, okay. I like the blunderbuss, honestly. Oh, no! Okay, whoever doesn't use the rifle is a... Is a Alright, we all have the rifle. You can, you can see everyone's screen. You can make sure it's like cheating. Okay, I'll go back. Screen Cheat is a Melbourne project that's making cheating okay and then has one hell of a creation story. During this year's Global Game Jam, the developers found that their original game was plagued by screen cheating. Rather than be deterred, they were instead inspired to make a game in which you have to screen cheat to win. This is accomplished by making all players invisible, so that the only way to find your enemies is by screen cheating to see where they are on the map. Screen cheat is an ingenious celebration of a lost art without the scruples. Freshly graduated from Steam Early Access, Dungeon of the Endless is ready to encapsulate you in its endless charm. This game is a multiplayer roguelike with an endless stream of random dungeons that creates a suspenseful curiosity about what's in the next room. Strategy is prominent thanks to a successfully implemented tower defense system as well as RPG stats and upgrades. Fun fact, this is the third game made by Amplitude Studios with Endless in the title. First there was Endless Space, then Endless Legend, and now Dungeon of the Endless. It seems they don't really want things to end, but if they keep making games this good, neither do we. Roger. Okay. Right down. Tango down. Roger. Tango down. Tango straight down. Okay. The Greenlit Door Kickers is a top-down RDS in which you lead a SWAT team through a series of raids. Missions consist of you plotting out the movement of your team, sending them in, and then making on the fly changes. The missions can be as quick as a minute, but are difficult and often need to be reattempted. You may have not checked corners, gone in the way of a teammate's line of fire, or failed a specific objective. The objective changes with the different scenarios. It may be a hostage scenario in a small apartment that doesn't suit shotguns, or a dope raid in which alerted enemies will destroy evidence. This all alludes to the astonishing tactical depth of the game that can only be appreciated by sinking some serious time into it. Door Kickers is great and the standout pick for this month's best indie game. In our opinion, of course. If you're going to PAX Australia this weekend, we hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former. Intro. Yeah.
Okay, uh, this is 